How is that card moving? It's magic. Magic the Gathering is better than all your other stupid card games, so let's learn how to play it. Magic is a game where you have a deck, your opponent has a deck, and you take turns trying to kill each other with monsters and crap. You draw seven cards at the beginning of the game, and you get to draw another one each turn. How cool is that? And the most common way to win is to try to get your opponent's life total from 20 all the way down to frickin' nothing. Yo. This is a land card. You can tell because it says land right there. Lands are super important. You're gonna want a whole bunch of them. But hold on, cowboy. You can only put one of these out onto the battlefield every turn. But why are lands super important? You're gonna want them to pay for stuff like creatures. But how do I know that's a creature? Shut up and read the freaking card! Are you stupid? It says creature right there. Now check it out. To put this creature on the field, you're gonna want to pay one forest and one of any type of land. So let's turn a couple of these bad boys sideways and BAM! You got yourself a bear! Good job. I believe in you. But whoa, 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 what are those freaking numbers at the bottom? I haven't seen those before. Now listen, that first number is called power and the second number is called toughness. These come into play when this guy gets into combat. But yo, you ain't ready for that, so let's move on. Whoa, 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 this card's not a creature. What the frick is that? That's an enchantment. Yo, it attaches to a creature to make it do cool stuff. But hold on, we have to pay for it first. Here we go. This guy's a sorcery. You play him during your turn if you pay its cost, do the stuff on the card, and then, whoa, it's gone. Instants work the same way, except, whoa, 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 you can play this guy at any time. During a combat, during your opponent's turn, at your grandmother's funeral, whenever you freaking want. So wait, where do our cards go when they're gone? Well, let's set you up with a graveyard. Here are all your cards, here's your life counter, and here's where everything goes when it's freaking dead. Now look at this crazy cat. He's got this thing called Trample. You're gonna want to read all those words and plan accordingly. That's right, creatures can do other stuff. This guy's got Hexproof. This boy right here can tap for forests. You're gonna want to read your cards. If you can't read, go home. Now let's talk about how a turn works. It's the beginning of your turn. What the frick do you do? Step one, you untap all of your land that you spent last turn. Now you get to spend it again. Next is upkeep. Make sure you read all the cards on the table to see whether or not you're gonna do anything this phase. Then we get to draw a card. Put it in your hand. Now look at your hand. What are you gonna do? Well, we got a land in our hand. Let's put it down on the table so we can spend it. And now we can play all kinds of crazy crap with our land. Let's tap two to put down another scary bear. And now you get to attack with your creatures if you want. Come on, you're gonna attack me? Do it. Do it, you won't. So this is how combat works. Listen up. This is our attacker and this is our blocker. Yo, this guy's a 2-2, but we got this cool enchantment on it that gives it plus 2, plus 2. So for all intents and purposes, he is now a 4-4. Four, four. And whoa, my blocker is just a lowly 3-2, which means it only takes 2 damage to kill this guy into dust. So what's gonna happen is these guys are both gonna deal their power to each other at the same time. This guy's gonna deal 3 over here, which is not gonna be enough to destroy this 4-4. Four, four. And this guy is going to deal four over here, which is going to completely wreck my dude. So my guy's going to go to my graveyard. He's done. And this guy lives to tell the tale and gets to untap at the beginning of your next turn. Now combat's over and you get to play more stuff if you want to. But look, you only have one mana left to pay this turn and this guy's worth freaking a whole lot. So your turn's over and the next guy gets to go. You can play with as many people as you want as long as everyone has their own deck. And don't be afraid to ask more experienced people questions because sometimes you just don't know what's going on. It gets too complicated. Alright, that's how it works. Now go play magic.